Vanessa, how you doing? Yeah, good. Are you here to see the Phasmids? The stick insects? Yeah, yeah, come in. So, before we get started, can you just remind me of what you do again? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm an entomologist, which means I study insects. And we can learn from preserved specimens, but another great way to learn about insects is to raise some, or even keep them as pets. So, phasmids are some of the easiest pets to keep. They're very low maintenance, they just eat leaves and need a bit of misting. And they're really easy to handle. Would you like to hold it? Uh... Maybe later. Okay, fair enough. Which ones are we actually going to be talking oh. about, looking at today? Oh, well, we can talk about any of them if you want. Like, I have my peppermint stick insects, which are from tropical far north Queensland. Um, they have, like, a peppermint-smelling defense spray, and they eat this really tough plant. But more locally, we have spiny stick insects, which you can see here. I only have a few of these spiny stick insects, but we can actually find some in the backyard if we want to have a try. You mean we can just find them crawling around outside? Yeah, yeah, it's actually part of why I moved here to Australia. You guys have 130 different species of stick insects, and where I come from in the States, we have about 12. <laughs> Finding phasmids on a Friday. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. Phasmid actually starts with a pH, but don't worry too much. So how are we going to find these insects? Uh, with a lot of patience. So stick insects are really well camouflaged, but you can typically find them in their host tree. So they feed on eucalyptus and acacia, and if you see something a bit abnormal, you might be lucky. If I pick it up, is it going to sting me or bite me? Oh, no, no, no. Um, not all insects have painful defenses, so stick insects are really peaceful in that they rely on their camouflage. They eat their host plant and they want to look like it and hide from potential predators. Um, but, oh, another thing I forgot to tell you is we're more likely to find a female spiny stick insect. Uh, yeah, don't they just look the same? How can I tell if it's female or male? Ah, uh, so... Well, they're sexually dimorphic, which means the males and females look very different from each other. So the males have really long antennae and long wings with a slender body, whereas the females, short antennae, short wings, large round body. But how do they know they're the same species if they look different? Oh, well, <laughs> they don't have too much trouble. They can smell each other out. Hey, I think I found one. No, try again, maybe. <laughs> Ridiculous. There must be hundreds of insects here. Mm, yeah, they're pretty good at hiding. I, don't worry. Uh, Matt, I think you actually found one. What? Where? Don't move too much. Oh, see, she's harmless. Well, she's not so bad. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> hmm. Well, thank you, Jessa, and thank you, Ms. Spiny, but I can't stick around, so gonna make like a tree and leave. Okay, have fun. See ya.